Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial on georeferencing and defining projection in ArcGIS. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of georeferencing a topo sheet and defining its special re reference in ArcGIS. So basically, georeferencing is the process of aligning or referencing geospatial data such as map. In our case, we will georeference a topo set of Dolokha districts. So first of all, let's go and get our map of Dolokha. So here I have selected topo set number 2786-02 of Gauri Shankar Himal. Georeferencing involves aligning spatial coordinates such as latitude and learn georeferencing involves assigning spatial coordinates such as uh, latitude and longitude or xy coordinates to the features and data enabling them to be accurately positioned and analyzed within the context of a specific geographic location if you don't have georeferencing you can just click to this you can click to this empty area here and then take this georeferencing and this georeferencing will appear the purpose of georeferencing is to establish a special relationship between the data and earth surface allowing it to be integrated and compared with other special data sets by georeferencing a map it becomes possible to overlay and analyze the data alongside other geographic information in ArcGIS Georeferencing is the most basic tool within ArcGIS. So now georeferencing is activated here. You can go to this tool, add control points, click once. Before that, let's go ahead and see the XY coordinates. The basic thing that you need to remember for georeferencing is that the vertical line or the vertical grids is always Y coordinate and the horizontal grid or line is X coordinate. So we'll go ahead and select our points first. To select the points, you just have to go and click here, add control points. Before that, I will note the points that I want to select. So now I've noted down my coordinates, I'll go ahead and select this tool, add control points. So the first one was 95 on Y coordinate and 27 on X coordinate. So I'll go ahead and then click on the grid, left click and then right click to input X and Y. So X and Y are the X coordinates and Y coordinates. So I'll just copy my X coordinate and put it in my X coordinate and do the same with my Y coordinate. And press OK. If we are doing georeferencing the for the first time, you might see a blank screen and your map moving to another position so this is quite normal when you are referencing a map and for the first point so we'll do the same with the second point we'll go ahead and zoom so the second position that we selected was 49 and 92 49 and 92 so I'll do the same thing 92 I will zoom in, try to place it in the center of the grid 
left click and then right click to input x and y so my x coordinate is this and my y coordinate is this okay again we'll zoom out and enter the third point so you will need at least four points on the corners of a map to g-reference control c so this is our third point 50 and 71 so i'll repeat the process left click and right click to input x and y i'll input my x coordinate and then input my y coordinate so now the map is not moving and you can see that we have already pointed three locations so again we'll go to full extent and then zoom in more so the fourth coordinate is 2771 2771 so this is the point so we will again select this add control points zoom in a little bit so that i can see this grid properly try to put it in center of the grid left click right click input x and y as you can see the default coordinates is already quite close to our coordinate so which means we are on track so let's go ahead and put the values okay we have added four points so to georeference this data we'll again click on georeferencing and then rectify so i will set a uh, output location We will rename this to Gauri Sankal Himal Georeferenced and then the format is TIFF and then we'll save it. So now you have georeferenced this topo set. As you can see in this map there is unknown units. So we'll go ahead and add our newly georeferenced data. So let's go to the properties of Gauri Sankal Himal and then see the source. So as you can see, the spatial reference is undefined. So we will now define a projection. And if you are still seeing unknown units, you can go to layers, properties, and then go to general, and then you can select units to meters and display units. display units to meters apply okay now you can see the unit is in meters so now let's go ahead and define a projection so to define a projection go to arc toolbox data management tools and then you can see projection and transformations go to projection and transformations and go to define projection so I will input data Gauri Sankal Himal georeferenced so as you can see the coordinate system is unknown so let's go ahead and see index of map so in all topographic maps you will see this horizontal datum which is projection system on which this map is based so in our case this map is in Everest 1830 which is a modified universal transfer marketer projection um, and the origin longitude 87 so we will note all this now we'll go ahead and project so we'll go to arc toolbox define projection we will input the feature which is Gauri Sankal Himal georeferenced we'll select this coordinate system is still unknown 
so we'll go ahead and click this button and then we'll add a new coordinate new projected coordinate system so we will rename this MUTM 87 Traverse Marketer False Easting was 500000 False Northing is 0 Central Meridian was 87 and scale factor was 0 0.9999 and we leave it in meters and then another important part is changing the geographic coordinate system so we'll change this and we'll go to although I have already uh, average 1830 in my favorites I will go to geographic coordinate system and then we'll go to spheroid based and then we will choose uh, every 1830 okay now you can apply and then click OK so I'll add this to my favorites select this click OK now we have defined coordinate system MUTM 87 OK so there you go now you know how to reference a topo set and then define a projection so now let's go ahead and see if we can see changes in the source so let's see raster information we have the extent and then we have a special reference of xy coordinate system that is in MUTM 87 so now you can go ahead download different topo sets and then geo reference and then add projection system to your map so this is how you georeference and define a projection on a topo sheet. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in the next video.